Chandrayaan, after Chandrayaan uh, 2 failure, now Chang is still going to launch the Chandrayaan 3. So what was the difference in both? Only four engines, four main engines in Chandrayaan 3, whereas in Chandrayaan 2 we had four main engines and additional main engine at the center of the lantern. So that the additional one was removed in Chandrayaan uh, 3 right now. Can you explain the last 15 minutes of terror? Why does it call it 15 minutes of terror? Yeah, the last 15 minutes, like uh, the Chandrayaan 3 lander will be, uh, will will have power descent like before 15 minutes. From there, the rough braking starts, so all the four engines will be firing. From the moment the two engines uh, gets fired off, it's called fine braking phase. How do you see the race between the countries India, China, America, and Russia's moon missions? So the main reason is uh, the direction of water in moon south poles because if, if there is water in south uh, in moon south poles then there is a reason uh, we can have permanent moon bases. How did you find the debris of Chandrayaan 2? So Chandrayaan 2, uh, after the Chandrayaan 2 had crash landed on the uh, particular uh, site. So NASA released some publicly uh, images from the LRO orbiter. So what I did was I searched through those images inch by inch, pixel by pixel on that particular two into two kilometer area. And after that, I was able to find a tiny div uh, white speck, which was not found in any of the older images that was taken in July or June. Uh, so after comparing the images and confirming, I did reach out to a couple of LRO scientists as well as NASA scientists on this. And after uh, they also verified uh, that in the subsequent images of LRO on October and November. And based on the tip, whatever I gave, uh, they searched around in the surrounding areas and they were able to find, find the Chandrayaan 2 uh, engine as well as the other debris that was scattered across. So based on that, uh, I think they appreciated me for finding the debris. Uh, I think as far as Chandrayaan 2 is concerned, uh, uh, though it's sad, uh, uh, it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of a sweet uh, achievement, uh, not only for uh, me but also for the common common citizens. I would say so. What was the NASA's first reaction when you found out the debris of Chandrayaan 2? So uh, the first rep response was usually like cold, so they were not. Uh, so I, I actually reached out to LRO scientists because LRO is different from NASA. So uh, they were they were uh, initially skept, uh, skeptical about whatever I found out in October. But after that, I again reached out to them a couple of times in October and November. And the third time was lucky because they did uh, find, okay, this might be a debris, they thought. And they further verified and uh, found that the debris was actually spattered across the surface itself. Because first they were refusing to believe that uh, the debris would be something like this because they were looking at the debris might be something like very uh, spattered across like uh, the other landers which crash landed on moon. Okay. So what exactly happened to the Chandrayaan tool uh, landers? Why did it uh, uh, to crash? Okay, so the reason might be something went wrong in the fine breaking phase, the rough breaking phase, it all went successful without any issues. The fine breaking phase, there were some errors uh, in the fine breaking itself, due to which the LS got accumulated and the system was not able to overcome or rectify those errors. So the engine was supposed to fire uh, for additional amount of seconds, but it didn't fire after the fine breaking was over. So that's the main reason for uh, crash landing of Chandrayaan 2 lander. So even this was uh, denoted by ISRO chairman in one of the uh, YouTube interviews he gave a uh, few weeks ago. So this was like a similar reason, like he also gave the same reason, like there were errors which were uh, which was failed to rectify by the lander. So that, that's the main reason behind the failure of the lander itself. Okay. So if, uh, Chandrayaan, after Chandrayaan uh, 2 failure, now Chang is still going to launch Chandrayaan 3. So what was the difference in both? So the main difference between Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3 is so we have got uh, three only four engines, four main engines in Chandrayaan 3, whereas in Chandrayaan 2 we had four main engines and additional main engine at the center of the lantern. So that the additional one was removed in Chandrayaan uh, 3 right now. And we also removed the payloads, some of the payloads, and the payloads have been uh, replaced by uh, more cameras. So we have we have got something like eight cameras uh lander detection cameras as well as uh, uh avoid uh, uh hazard avoidance cameras like this we have got eight different cameras in eight different uh, 
uh, areas of Chandra into lander because, and also we have got a lot of sensors in Chandra into lander because uh, this is like uh, the sensors, even if one sensor goes wrong, the other sensor will give the correct data, which will let the system to land the uh, ladder correctly without any issues. So that's the major difference. So we have got fewer payloads, but more uh, sensors and cameras to land successfully on moon. Can you explain the last 15 minutes of terror? Why does it call it 15 minutes of terror? Yeah, the last 15 minutes, like uh, the Chandrayaan 3 lander will be, uh, will, uh, will have power descent like before 15 minutes. From there, the rough braking starts. So all the four engines will be firing. And once it comes to a certain distance, uh, the four engines, uh, out of those four engines, two engines will be shut off. Only two engines will be firing. From the moment the two engines uh, gets fired off, it's called fine braking phase, where it will reduce some more distance. And at a distance of one kilometer to 800 meters from the lunar surface, it will overwork the surface and see like where it can land exactly. And the system, then again, it will initiate a power descent slowly. And uh, around 100 meters or uh, under 250 meters, it will again search for a landing site to land. Like what is the best site to land based on the images that has been already stored in the lander. And once it selects a site, it will then begin slowly, a uh, uh, very slow descent. And once it lands, it, it will switch off the engines. How do you see the race between the countries, America, Russia, India, and China, uh, continuous moon missions? So the main reason is uh, the direction of water in moon south poles. Because if if there is water in south uh, in moon south poles, then there is a reason uh, we can have permanent moon bases where uh, we can uh, we can have like we can travel to other uh, planets also like we can have a moon base in south pole and from that we can launch a spacecraft which can go to mars and uh, other planets also so that's the main reason behind competition between different countries so this is just similar to like uh, where we are having stations in antarctica like uh, if we have a moon base on moon then we can communicate directly uh, uh, we can have deep space telescopes and we can use it for a lot of other purposes also which will be beneficial for humankind so that's the main reason behind different countries are competing for a uh, uh, pie of moon that is main, particularly moon south pole because uh, the research shows that it has large amount of water ice stored in moon south pole so that's the main reason behind the competition thank you for your comments Thanks.